Hello friends, welcome you all. In the last lecture, we have discussed the basic features of Indian economy and some characteristics of Indian economy and the basic structure of Indian economy. Uh, in this today's lecture, we are going to discuss the sectoral growth of Indian economy, the sector wise uh, performance of uh, Indian economy. So the economy is made up of the primary sectors, secondary and tertiary sector and also quaternary and quinary sectors, each of which have an important role within the economy. First three sectors you all know better. In the second year in business economics, we have studied primary sector that is uh, agriculture and allied activities secondary that is industrial and manufacturing sector and tertiary is the service sector uh, so what is the quaternary uh, sectors or quaternary economic activities quaternary economic activities include activities such as software development statistical work educational and knowledge based work and uh, also with that uh, quinary sectors means it is the part of the economy where the top level decisions are made this includes for example uh, government which passes legislation it also comprises the top decision makers uh, in the industry so quinary sector means the uh, where the top level decisions are made which affects the economy uh, indirectly so the top level decisions makers in industry also commerce also and the education sector also so uh, on the basis of activity or nature we can classified economic sector as primary sector secondary sector tertiary sector quaternary sector and quinary sector uh, on the basis of work condition we can also classify the sectors as uh, organized sector and unorganized sector on the basis of uh, asset ownership we can the basis of uh, asset ownership means the uh, ownership of that particular enterprises or business uh, we can classify sector as public sector and private sector. So public sectors, uh, enterprises or businesses or asset, uh, <clears throat> the government is owner and in private sector, private, uh, private individuals are owner of the uh, assets or business enterprises. So this is the uh, just picture of economic sectors in the economic on the basis of uh, three categories basis of activity nature basis of the work condition and asset ownership. Uh, let us discuss the share of GDP by the sectors. So in this slide you can see the uh, statistics from 2009 to 2019 the 10 year span I have taken here. So if you see the service sector, uh, the percentage is uh, 45 in 45.98 uh, around 46 percent in 2009. It is increased to 49.88 uh, percent uh, means around 50 percent in 2019. So it is increased by 5 uh, percentage. Uh, in case of industrial sector, the share of GDP by industrial sector is 31.12% uh, uh, in 2009. It is uh, decreased uh, to 24.88% in 2019. So it is decreased around uh, 6 to 7%, 7 percent, 7 percent around. Uh, in the 10 year um, 10 year span on or 10 year uh, of time period so uh, compared to service sector the industrial sector contribution in gdp is uh, declining uh, slightly 
if you see the agricultural sectors the percentage of agricultural uh, in the gdp was 16.74 percent in 2009 it is decreased to 15.96 around one to two percent one percent decrease in the 10 year span of time period uh, you can see the agricultural share of uh, uh, share in the GDP is uh, uh, below 20 percent or it is uh, below around uh, 15 15 percent to 16 percent if you see the percentage of share percentage of industrial sector contribution in the GDP is uh, around 25 percent uh, on an average and in case of service sector so you got now the picture of uh, sector wise contribution of gdp that is the uh, service sector is dominant uh, in the contribution of gdp second is the industrial sector by its share and last is uh, agriculture agriculture sectors so the we can compare the share of gdp and dependence of population for job or on the dependence of workforce on these particular sectors we can compare the contribution in the gdp and dependence of uh, population on that particular sector here i have uh, made one another graph that is uh, uh, in agricultural if you see the ag percentage of agriculture sector uh, in the share of employment is declining it is the data the it is the graph from 1950 to 51 to 2018 uh, 19 so if you see uh, the agricultural share in the employment was around 72.4 percent but it is continuously declining in the uh, around 70 70 years of a time period so it is now 43.9 percent so if you see the percentage uh, shared by agriculture or the contribution by agriculture is very less compared to uh, the dependence of population on that particular sector so only uh, around uh, on an average 15 to 16 percent contribution of agricultural sector is there and around uh, on an average of uh, 50 uh, 5 to 50 percent of population is uh, still depend depend uh, depend on agricultural sector uh, the second sector is manufacturing sector so the percentage of manufacturing sector was 8.8 percent .8 in 1950 to 51 now it is around 11.6 uh, percent so it is the slightly increase uh, of uh, industrial sector in the employment uh, share of uh, total percent so industrial sector <clears throat> the jobs or the work population the employment given by this sector is slightly increased but if you see the service sector the yellow color line the share of service sector was just 19 in the 18.3 percent in the 1950 to uh, 50 and 51 so it is increased continuously uh, to 43.9 percent sorry 43.4 percent so continuously the share of employment uh, given by by uh, service sector is continuously increasing so continues the contribution by service sector in the gdp also increasing and uh, the share of employment is also increasing uh, in the service sector so comparatively you can see this is the uh, it created inequality of distribution of income in india so it is the concentration of wealth in the service sector so in on the agricultural sector dependence of uh, population for employment is more but the percentage of uh, gdp 
contributed by agricultural sector is very low and uh, in the service sector the percentage of uh, contri the contribution of gdp is uh, more and relatively the dependence of population is uh, comparatively to agricultural sector is less in the industrial sector uh, the contribution of employment is 11.6 percent uh, in 2018-19 so in uh, a industrial sector we can see the slightly increase or decrease uh, in the share of employment and, and the contribution uh, in the gdp so this this was the overall picture of uh, employment given by three major sectors uh, now let us discuss that what is the status of state of the Indian economy today in 2018-19 and in 2019-20 the you, you can see uh, here in the slide we have read I have written economic slowdown is widespread the economics uh, slowdown is widespread because if you see the total growth rate in 2018-19 uh, is 6.63 percent now it is declined in 2019-20 uh, 4.91 obviously it is the picture before the uh, covid effect that is coronavirus effect uh, uh, we will discuss later on the covid effect or coronavirus effect on the economy but uh, just uh, deduct the covid effect or coronavirus effect from the state of economy we are uh, discussing the condition or status of economy before that so in the uh, in case of uh, primary sector that is agriculture forestry and fishing 2.92 percent growth rate was there in 2018-19 uh, and in 2000 1920 only 2.8 percent so that is the primary sectors growth rate is declining uh, if you see the industrial sector uh, 6.86 growth rate was there in 2018-19 but it is declined to uh, severely uh, to 2.49 to, percent in 2019 and 2020 in the one year span it is declined very uh, fastly uh, if you if we s discuss the sector wise that is in the second uh, secondary sectors mining and uh, quarrying uh, is somewhat showing increasing trend that is 1.34 percent in 2018-19 but it is 1.5 percent in 2019-20 manufacturing sector declined very much uh, from 6.94 percent to 1.98 percent electricity gas water supply and other utility services declining from 6.99 percent to 5.43 percent construction is also declined declining very severely from 8.474 percent to 3.16 percent and here uh, the third sector that is tertiary sector service sector the growth rate was 7.53 percent in 2018-19 it is declined to 3.16 percent so it is severely uh, sorry uh, so it is declined from 7.53 percent to 6.86 percent uh, if we see the classification of service sector uh, by uh, different sectors that is trade hotel transportation stores and communication showing a declining trend from 6.87 percent to 5.87 percent financial services real estate and professional services uh, also showing declining trend that is uh, it is declined from 7.45 percent to 6.3 six percent and public administration defense and other services also show uh, sorry public administration defense and other services showing the somewhat increasing trend
it is increased from 8.63 percent to 9.14 percent so uh, this is the state of the indian economy in 2018-19 and 2019-20 we have deducted covid effect and coronavirus effect we will discuss it uh, separately so if you if uh, you see the share of gdp by the sector so agricultural sector uh, uh, contribution by the agriculture sector is around on an average 15.4 percent industry 23 percent and service sector 6 uh, 661.5 percent it is uh, on an average percentages uh, may not very accurate but uh, we can get the picture of the dominance of sector um, by contribution in the GDP uh, in the second row of the table we can see the dependence of workforce by uh, on this particular sector the dependence on agriculture is uh, very heavy that is 44 percent of workforce is dependent for employment on agricultural sector uh, but the contribution of agricultural sector in the gdp is very less on industrial sector somewhat uh, 25 percent workforce is dependent and the contribution in the gdp by industrial sector is to 23 percent uh, in the service sector comparatively the workforce is uh, uh, depend workforce dependent is very less compared to contribution in the gdp so this is the uh, comparatively uh, comparison comparatively picture uh, by the sector's contribution in the gdp and labor force dependent on this particular sector uh, here in this slide we can see the GDP by component the household and consumption uh, contributes in the GDP that is 59.1 percent so we can say the uh, su sustainable demand is there in the Indian economy because internal demand is very high uh, because of the population this is the one advantage of population so internal demand can sustain government consumption consumption is also relatively very higher 11 11.5% investment in fixed capital contributes uh, in the gdp 28.5% uh, investment in inventories is 3.9% external sector that is exports of goods and services uh, contribute in the gdp 19.1% uh, and imports of goods and services uh, it contributes uh, negatively 22 uh, percent so it it was the uh, gdp share uh, by the uh, component different components uh, so that much in this of uh, uh, today's lecture uh, in the next lecture uh, we are going to study the details in different sectors that is uh, in the agricultural sector service sector and uh, tertiary sector and we will discuss in detail the status of different sectors in the gdp and we uh, in the growth rate of economy or in the <coughs> comparative picture in the economy so for today uh, that much is enough in the next lecture we will study in details if you have any queries or questions you can mail me on my email id uh, you are supposed to write your comments and uh, in the comment box your name and your roll number for the attendance so thank you uh, see you again in the next lecture